You can start using it now, or I can have it sent to the nearest stable. Arthur's good. He's the best man we got. One of the more quirky aspects of the Trapper Panther saddle is the blanket tends to linger if you equip another saddle. Observe Arthur with this new Dark Bay Turcoman, wearing a Trapper Rattlesnake saddle, which is my favorite Trapper saddle, with the Panther blanket underneath. Some people like this look, but I think the Panther blanket is a little warm for Clements Point and Lemoyne. It's a pretty easy glitch, but it does involve a lot of hunting, so let's go get some saddles. Obviously, we need a panther. Yep. Here is your location, southeast of Braithwaite Manor on the water. This crossroads is the sweet spot for panther spawns. In the old days, you used to be able to drop a deer here along with some potent predator bait and lure one out from the woods. However, I have found that this particular technique is far less consistent with the new update. So you're back to the old technique of riding west on this trail to catfish jacksons and circling back to the crossroads. At some point, a panther will come out to play. And then we can head to the trappers and get the saddle. Goddamn worm. Probably Hello, ma'am. Hello. Oh, what do you have for me? All right, where in your best day's work? If you don't want to put it on now, I can say. Note the price or lack thereof. The trapper is happy to craft you this saddle for free, provided you have the right materials. It's one of the best deals in the game. Hello. Hello. Next, we need some snakes to craft the Rattlesnake Vaquero saddle. Dewberry Creek is one of my favorite locations for snakes. They're out in the open. Ride around until your horse freaks out. Go for headshots and use small game arrows. Here's the location where we found this snake, but snakes spawn all up and down Dewberry Creek. You can also try the islands off Clemens Point for snakes. Make sure they're close enough for you to grab them. There's nothing worse than that helpless feeling you get after killing a three-star snake and watching it sink to the bottom. A lot of patience is required in snake hunting, but the saddle is worth it. Now go do that eight more times and meet Arthur back at the trappers. Yep. Yeah, okay, boy. Yeah. You can start using it now, or I can have it sent to the nearest stable. Okay, we have our two saddles. Let's go to the stables and check them out. Here are the panther saddle stats. Very impressive, one of the best saddles in the game. Note the panther head pommel and the panther claw fringe, and also the infamous blanket. We'll take it outside so you can get a better look at it. Sorry. Here, okay. 
The Panther saddle also comes equipped with Tapadero stirrups, which I prefer. Now that we have this saddle equipped, the blanket will stick with you with any of the special saddles you have. The blanket will appear on any special saddle that you own. Let's try the Nueva Paraiso, which is an Ultimate Edition bonus saddle. Looks fine in the stable. And then we step outside, and as you can see, the blanket is back. Hello. Hello. Here are the stats for the Rattlesnake Vaquero saddle, which is my current favorite. Note the snake head pommel and the rattlesnake tail fringe under the saddlebags. I also like the leather tooling. It's the most western or cowboy looking of the trapper saddles, and of course it comes with tapadero stirrups, so as far as I'm concerned, we're looking at a perfect saddle. But we take him outside, and here's your panther blanket. Yeah, good boy. This glitch also works with the Boar Mother Hubbard saddle. Here are the stats if you're interested. The trapper only requires one perfect boar pelt to craft this one. So we take him outside and return and attach another saddle. Let's try the Bear Dakota saddle. Here are the stats. And the trapper only wants a black bear for this one. Come back anytime. I'm always happy to stable that horse. And once again when we're outside you can see that the bear saddle now has the boar blanket equipped. The only way to remove the blanket is to equip a stable saddle, which I actually had to buy for this video. I usually just go for a trapper saddle early in the game and don't bother with the stables. But this was my favorite combo in early playthroughs. An improved Gurdon Vaquero. Tapadero stirrups, of course. And the Maple Torquemada horn, which is my favorite saddle horn in the game. I really like the engraving. I miss that horn. At any rate, we take him out and the trapper blanket is gone. Now we can go back in and equip any saddle we want, in my case the rattlesnake, and once we exit, no more glitch. Morning, mister. You doing okay? Oh, oh, watch out. That's so much better. And you can get a better look at those rattlesnake tail fringe dangly things underneath the saddlebags. The horse has got to be more comfortable without all that heavy panther blanket in this Lemoyne heat. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything.